Hi and welcome to tiduko.com. In this video I will explain the Fisher theory. So to start with, the Fisher theory describes the long-term relationship between inflation and interest rates. So actually what's in simple words that means that the nominal interest rate in a country n equals the real interest rate plus inflation. So if we actually turn the sides we get that the real interest rate r equals nominal interest rate n minus expected inflation rate i. So at this moment uh, it might look a bit confusing but it's actually quite simple. So don't worry, in the next two minutes I will explain how to calculate and it will become very clear. So in simple words, any increase or decrease in inflation will result in equal increase or decrease in the nominal interest rate, assuming that the real interest rate is constant. So as an example, let's look at the example. Let's assume that the real interest rate is 4.5 and that inflation increases from 2.5 to 3.5. That means that the nominal interest rate would have to increase from 7.1 to 8.1%. How did I get that? So let's look at the formula. So we're going to use the previous formula that the nominal uh, rate is equal to real interest rate. So that's the real interest rate, 4.5% which gives us 1.045 times inflation. Here we have inflation, it's 2.5, that gives us 1.025. So now if we turn the formula up, as I previously said, we get that the nominal rate is 1.045 times 1.025 minus 1, because we had a plus 1 here. So that gives us 0.071 which is 7.1 percent and that's this one here so we got the nominal rate for 4.5 4.5 with the inflation of 2.5 so to get the nominal rate if increase inflation increases to 3.5 we're going to do the same thing we're going to multiply 1.45 with 1.035 which is here reverse the formula and we get that it's 8.1 quite simple as i said so thank you for watching this video and please visit our website at tiduko.com